There's a number of reasons why you may want to bring something from Maya into Unreal. The particular context here is that we want to have it for reference. So we are going to be rendering this CG asset in Maya, but we'd like to see where it is Unreal, in Unreal so that we know that our camera is looking good and we can kind of line things up. So we've got it read into here um, and we've got the animation on it um, in Unreal. And that's kind of what we're going to be going over in this particular video. Another thing that you could be doing is reading in a static mesh as an asset. And that's going to be covered in a different video of how to do that and bring in all the textures and everything with it. But in this video, we're just going to be focusing on reading in the asset. And there's, again, a couple ways you can bring in animated assets. You can do Live Link, you can do Alembic, and you can do FBX. Live link and Alembic are a little bit uh, tricky to get set up right. And so for this purpose, we're going to be doing it just with FBX because for our purposes of just seeing it as reference, that's probably the, the most straightforward and easy way to do it. And the trick is with FBX animation is that you want to export out not just the geometry, but the whole rig. So it contains bones and curves and parenting and everything. And you just select the whole thing and then come to export selection. And you want to, of course, have FBX selected. And you just need to make sure that you have selected here both animation and also that you want to bake the animation and then you'd put in whatever your timeline is for your animation and then export it out. And then you come into Unreal. And one thing that's important to, to say when we're talking about the uh, timeline here is Unreal by default is 30 frames per second. And so if you want to match up with Maya, you got to make it the same. So you can just come into here and switch it to 24 frames per second. So it matches with the Maya timeline, which is what I did. You can actually change that at any point. So it's um, not a big deal if you forget. So I have in here the car animation in here and the way that you get that in here is you come into the content browser and you can see that it comes in with a car rig, a car anim, a car physics asset, and a car skeleton. And basically these things are all kind of connected to each other and linked up real nice. So but let me let me just do that from scratch. And I in the content browser click on import. I find my animation that I've exported from Maya, click open, and it gives me these options here. And the only other thing really that I'm going to change on here from the defaults is do not create material. So in this particular workflow, I'm not intending to render this in Unreal, so I don't want to have it bring in all the texture maps and everything and all the different materials. I just wanted to put a gray material on everything, so I'd have that on. And then I just say import all, and this will take a minute. And it gives me some complaining stuff, but should be fine. So I take the car rig and I'm going to drag it into here. And it's coming in a little bit disoriented. And that's because in my Maya scene, this was the original position of this guy in my original scene. and over here where I want it to go, you can see that it's oriented. It's well, for one thing, it's translated all the way over here. And then also it's been rotated. And if I had moved it in Maya, then move it to where I want it to be, then it would come into Unreal in that exact same place. 
Um, what I would need to do for that, I would need to set the orientation to 0, 0, 0, and then that movement would then be inherited into there. In this case, I haven't done that, so I need to manually put the rotations in here. And so what I can do is just look at the values that I have in Maya for this asset here. I have these values here. So I'll start off with this one, X, and come into Unreal, and in the X, in the X, I'll just paste that in, and then get back into Maya, and then we have uh, the Y and the Z. What you'll notice though is that the Y and the Z are flipped from Maya to Unreal. So here we have the Z and in Unreal that would be the value for the Y. And that's because Maya works with a Y up coordinate system and Unreal works with a Z up coordinate system. So finally, the last one here is this guy. And so come back to Unreal and I'll paste that guy in. And then for the rotations, it's also a flip. So we have here the rotation is in uh, Y and we need to put that in Unreal into Z. But we need to do another thing as well, which is we need to make it a negative. And there you go. So, and again, if you just had it in the right place in the first place in Maya, then you wouldn't have to copy paste all these things because it would just do it for you. So now we have this in the right position, same position we have in Maya and we need to then come into the sequencer and drag this guy into the sequencer and then we come under animation and click on it and we add in the car rig anim animation sequence which is what it uh, one of the things that it brought in and I'm just gonna slide this over to the right place in the timeline and you can see now that this guy is animating along here. Next up we have the camera and the way that you import in a camera into Unreal is you have to have kind of a, a camera for it to receive the camera data into. So I'm selecting here this camera actor that I made initially. I'm gonna select this and say import and I have this animated camera here. I want to have these settings here, so I don't want to match by name. I do want to convert to scene units. I don't want to create cameras. I don't want to reduce keys, and I do want to replace transform track. So click, and now here you can see my animated camera that is brought in to the scene. And conversely, if you want to get this camera out and into Maya, then you just would right click on it and say export. And it would export out the animated camera. Last but not least, let me show you how to bring in a light. So I'm going to say file, import into level. I'm going to read in a directional light that I exported out from Maya. I'm going to figure out where I want to put it. So I'm going to put it into here. And you can see here that we've got it in here. Just default options, read it in. And this gives me this uh, window in here. I'm going to click on Compile and Save. And and I'm just going to minimize this and then I'm going to take my FBX here which is a uh, blueprint class and I'm going to just drag it into here and I'm going to just move it up a little bit so I can see a little better. I have it selected in here 
and I'm in the details pane, select in here into the directional light in here. And then I'm going to come into the intensity and it's set to 20. That's not nearly bright enough for a sun, so I'm going to make this a thousand so we can see it. And there it is. So that's it for the transfer of FBX assets between Maya and Unreal. In the next video, we'll take a look at rendering VFX production quality sequences in Unreal, including getting lighting AOVs out of Unreal and comping these in Nuke.